Hey guys, welcome to the beautiful countryside of Cambodia. We are here on the top of a mountain at this beautiful ancient temple ruins. It is truly breathtaking and unbelievable here right now. And I've got a yoga class for you that's going to focus on opening your hips and letting go of any tension or negative emotion you might be storing in that area of your body. All you're gonna need is a mat, some water, and I want you to really focus on your breathing. I just want you to be present, breathe in that oxygen, and let go of that tension. So if you guys are ready, grab your mat and let's do it. Friends, we're going to start today seated on your mat with your knees together and just taking a moment, breathing into your nose and then exhale out, allowing yourself to become present in this moment, perhaps setting an intention for your practice. Okay, one more deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, reaching the arms up to the sky. And then exhale, letting yourself come down into your child's pose. Reaching the fingers to the very front of your mat. Allowing your hips to sink low towards the heels. And again, just staying present here with your breath. Inhale. And exhale out. Slowly rounding through each vertebra of your spine, continuing to round through until you bring yourself down onto your chest. Inhale, coming up into a baby cobra posture, squeezing the shoulder blades together, really opening up. And then if you're comfortable, come on up into a full upward dog. If not, you can stay down in your baby cobra. Slowly release. Pressing into the hands, come on up to your knees, and then sit back into your child's pose one more time. And just staying again with your breath, letting all that tension release. Slowly coming through into your hands and knees, tucking the toes under and lifting up into your downward facing dog and allowing yourself to let go as far as you can heels lowering towards the mat allowing the sternum to release to the floor good, one more deep breath in exhale rounding through into your plank position chaturanga dandasana inhale upward facing dog Exhale, push into the hands and lift into your downward facing dog. Good, let's go a little deeper here. Bending the knees and then stepping forward towards the very top of the mat. At this time, let's take our standing forward fold, folding from the hips and simply allow your head to rest. Allow the shoulders to relax. You can go ahead and keep the palms on the mat or feel free to reach towards your big toes or your ankles. Slowly rounding up into standing. Inhale, reaching the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, big reach up to the sky. Exhale, dive it all the way down to your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen through the spine. Exhale, stepping your left foot back, and then sinking low into your high lunge. So give yourself a second, and once you're ready, you've got your balance. Lift the arms up to the sky, opening the chest, and then slowly start to sink a little lower with the hips, feeling that nice stretch in the psoas. 
slowly palms together to your heart and then start to open into your warrior two so simply turn the back foot so the heel is grounded the right knee is above the ankle deep breath in exhale extending the arms up to the side and then turning the front foot inward and then coming down into your side lunge now you can stay here and just keep the hands grounded feeling a nice stretch along the inner thigh or take it one step further by flexing that far away foot and then keeping that knee pointed up to the sky and then taking a bind. So simply bring that right arm around your right knee and then you're interlacing both fingers behind your back. Again, this is quite advanced, so if you're not there today, no worries, just keep the hands on the mat and focus on allowing the hips to sink so you're feeling that stretch along the inner thigh. And then another thing I want you to think about is to keep that grounded heel on the floor so the right heel stays grounded. Good, come on out. Deep breath in, pushing into the hands. And then slowly from here, transitioning into our wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, slight pigeon toe on the feet, come on down. Go ahead, reach for those ankles. And simply with each exhale, allow your forehead to release towards the floor. Good, just staying with your breath here. Inhaling through your nose and exhale out. Slowly, let's lift the body back up. Inhale. Exhale, palms together. Now turn and open the other foot and come into that warrior two stance with your legs. Keeping the palms together, inhale. Exhale, extending the arms out. Holding that position and then turning the front toes in. So both toes are pointing towards the same direction and start to lower yourself into your squat here. So again, you can stay as high as you need to or go ahead as low as you can to the mat and take a bind. Wherever you are today, it is exactly where you need to be. Just focus on getting the most stretch in your legs. Focus on the breath. Focus on finding that patience for yourself and your body in this posture. Deep breath in again. Exhale out. Think about keeping those toes and knee pointed up towards the sky. Awesome, let's come back to center. Pushing into the hands, come on over to the center of your mat. Lift your body, arms up, inhale. Now exhale, you're going to open the toes away from you and come down into that yogic squat. Good, your feet are nice and far apart here, so you're getting a nice maximum stretch in those hips. And see if you can use your elbows to increase the stretch by pushing the knees away from your body. You can keep the palms together in prayer or in a yoga mudra. Slowly now. Deep breath in. Exhale, extending both legs. Arms out. Now pivot that right foot in, left foot out. And we're just going to turn to the opposite side of the mat and come up into your high lunge. And just staying here, opening the chest, opening the heart up to the sky. Letting go of any tension in your body, in your mind. Good, and then slowly releasing the hands. Stepping back with that left foot into plank position. And then take your Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward. Facing dog. Open the chest here. Slowly, let's reach the left leg up to the sky. Flexing the foot, bending the knee. And then you're going to stack the hips together. So the left hip 
is going to stack on top of the right hip, opening that hip out. Holding here, taking in one more deep breath into your nose. And then gently start to exhale all the air out. Pointing the toes, squaring out the hips, and then stepping the left foot between the two hands into your high lunge, dropping the knee, and come into your low lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky and just hold here. Always thinking about that front knee being on top of the ankle and allowing the hips to sink forward. Now both hands coming slightly to the right side of your mat and you're going to walk that left foot over to the very left edge of your mat. Coming into a lizard posture, so rolling the foot to the lateral side, come on onto your elbows and just allow the hips to sink low as the knee falls away from you. Now make sure that the foot is almost aligned with your elbow or your forearm. And again, just stay present with your breath. With each exhale, allowing yourself to let go a little bit deeper into this posture. Focusing on letting go of any tension, any tightness in your left hip. And then slowly from here, let's come on up to our hands. Tuck your back toes, lift the back knee. And then release the left foot into your plank or one-legged plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog on your inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Just take a moment here in this downward facing dog. Inhaling into your nose. And then exhale, once you're ready, Let's take the other leg up towards the sky, flexing the foot, bending the knee, and start to stack the hips, right hip on top of your left hip. Think about touching the glute with your heel, increasing the stretch along the quad. Good, hold and breathe. Point the toes, square off the hips, and then stepping forward towards the front of your mat, dropping the back knee to the floor, and then once you're ready, reach the arms up to the sky into your low lunge, allowing the hips to sink forward, really feeling that stretch along the psoas muscle, opening the front of your body. Deep breath into your nose. Exhale, slowly take both hands to the very left side of your mat, Walk your foot to the right edge of your mat, rolling out the foot to about the lateral side, and then coming over to your elbows if you're comfortable there. Good, take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Allow that knee to fall away from your body. One more breath into your nose. And then exhale, start to let it go. Let all that tension melt away. Slowly, let's come back up to our hands. Tuck your back toes, lift the back knee. Bring that right leg around, plank position, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Slowly coming over to your knees. Let's go ahead, come over to our mats now. We're going to take the butterfly posture. So what you're gonna do is first place both soles of your feet together, grab those toes and allow the knees to open. Inhale. And then exhale, start to fold forward from your hips. As your body comes forward, you want to think about allowing the knees to fall away from you. Opening both hips out. 
If you wish, you can take your hands and place them on top of the knees for an added stretch. Otherwise, just stay here. Let's just take one more deep breath into your nose. Exhale out, slowly come back up to your seated position. Knees together. And just a very gentle windshield wipe with the knees side to side. Letting go of any tension in the hips and the spine. And then crossing the ankles together. Coming into a nice seated position on your mat. I'd like you to close your eyes here. Rest your hands on the knees. And just take this moment to bring all of your awareness to your breath. Feeling the coolness of the air coming into your nose and the warmth leaving your nostrils as you exhale. Just staying completely present in this moment. Feeling yourself grounded re-energized and calm staying with your breath allow everything else to melt away from you this is your time to breathe to be still with yourself Nothing to worry about, nothing to do, but to simply breathe. Feel the elongating sensation in your spine. As you inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. And then exhale, bring the hands together to your heart. At this time, bowing down to your heart and sending all the love and gratitude to yourself for this practice and for dedicating some time to your well-being. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. I can't wait to see you again.